C'était un jour fin mai quand on s'est rencontré dans un café. Okay, so you've got yourself a bass guitar and you want to learn how to play it very quickly. Well, there's a lot you can learn and a lot of different techniques that you can actually use to expand. But I'm going to show you today just how you can make a nice sound and give yourself an opportunity to get a bit creative in your music. So, first of all, you need to make sure it's tuned right. So you can get a tuner on, on your mobile phone, on an app store. You've got these four bits here, which you twist, and you've got the four strings on a bass, and they will actually tune together. Any tuning app will tell you kind of exactly what to do, and it will tell you the names of the strings as well. So we've got in the top string here, we've got the E. On the string just below it, the second string, we've got the A. On the third string, we've got the D. And on that bottom string, we've got the G. And that's, those are the sounds which will tell you on any tuning app. But once your bass is tuned, it should sound like this. We kind of know you're good to go. Now, once we've actually got our bass tuned, how to play it? You notice I don't have any picks, which often you'll see guitar players use. You can use them on a bass, but I'm going to show you today how just with the instrument itself, which I have plugged into an amplifier just off screen, but you don't necessarily need that to practice. And I'm going to show you first of all how to use finger playing. So we need only real three fingers on our hand. Get your thumb and find just a good secure place on the body of the bass around the strings where you'll play. That kind of gives you that anchor so you know that you're going to be nice and soft and your hand's not going to fly all over the place and kind of hurt yourself. So once we've got that thumb firmly placed, I'm using what's known as a pickup just to rest on it, but that'll be in different places on different guitars. And getting our two, our index finger and our middle finger, nice ready, I'm just resting them just below that top string there. So, got those ready. And do you know when you walk, kind of when you do that walking motion on your hands, that's just basically what we're going to do now. So with our thumb firmly rested, nice and secure, get movement to be able to move your hand, which is going to start walking on that first top string, which is known as the E string. It's that deep, that deep sound, you're making the camera shake a bit. So that is how you just start playing on with your fingers. And we can speed it up or slow it down however you want to, however it's comfortable, as long as you get used to it. So, once we've got this bit, you can actually start bringing this down into the other strings as well quite easily. If you notice, my left hand isn't doing anything right now. It's just when I'm playing the top string, I'm keeping very lightly touching the other strings to make sure they don't vibrate or make noise that I don't really want. Let's go a string down then. Same thing, the thumb is securely rested. Underneath, the thumb is still securely rested the third string down now and on the very bottom string again and you notice the whole time the thumb stays in the same place and the hand just moves slightly you can do as fast as slow as you want to get comfortable but it's great practice and a good warm-up as well if you actually take this further you notice again my left hand is just stopping the other strings from making any noise while I'm playing once you've got that done, now you actually kind of have a chance to get creative. So we've got our basic rhythm. If you want to just use that, you can do any rhythm you want though. However you want to do. Once you've got those two fingers and you can keep a good walking rhythm, you can speed it up or slow it down as much as you want. So we're gonna use our left hand now. You'll notice on a guitar, we have these little slits of metal along the neck of the bass and between these points is actually where you use your left hand and you put your fingers down to make the different noises between these two things. They are called frets. Now we count the frets down. If you ever look at a tab or want to take this further, you'll know this is our first fret. So the hold down between those first bits, that's holding on the first fret on our top string which is the E string. Kind of go down. You notice if I hold it in a different place, on 
a different fret makes a different noise on the same string. And the same principle generally applies. So once we've got that, what we're just going to do is I'm going to use just a third fret, a fifth fret, and a seventh fret. And I'm just going to get creative because actually that's what the bass is all about. If you want to just pick up and play, you want to be able to show off and just have a nice kind of a good sound that you like and enjoy. So using those three strings, and I might use the open note as well, where I'm not holding a fret down at all. I'm just going to show you some examples of what you can do with these two techniques. Very simple pick up and play. So starting on an open, third fret, fifth fret, seventh fret. I can slow it down. Speed it up, open, third fret, fifth fret, seventh fret, I can change it up. Why not? Whatever you sound cool to you. And you can get creative and however you want it to sound, that's what matters. It's all about what you enjoy. There's plenty of techniques and different styles of play and different methods and different scales and patterns to make on a neck but that's a good starting point to pick up and play very common notes to use a lot of people like the top string because you get a good feel from it as well so i hope that's been helpful and uh, yeah hopefully we'll see some more if you find it interesting and uh, yeah good luck to any bass players out there <laughs> Servi, tout fier et tout gentil.